Everybody, welcome to Crown 4 News at 9. I'm Vicki Liviakis. And I'm Dan Thorne. In a unanimous vote tonight, San Jose City leaders approving an ordinance banning unserialized, privately made firearms, also known as ghost guns. The ordinance prohibiting the possession, manufacturing, assembling, transferring, and the sale of ghost guns and their parts. Crown 4's Taylor Bisaki joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Taylor? Dan, Vicki, this ordinance aligns with many other large cities that have passed similar laws. Meanwhile, the state and federal governments are also working on their own legislation concerning ghost guns. But San Jose city leaders say they wanted to get this done sooner than later. Yes. Ms. Barza? Yes. On Tuesday, San Jose city leaders unanimously approved an ordinance banning unserialized firearms known as ghost guns and their parts. I've heard from many police officers that... They're constantly recovering ghost guns as they are um, coming in contact with suspects and criminals. The ordinance prohibits the manufacturing, transferring, assembly, distribution, and sale of ghost guns, frames, and receivers. But the measure takes it a step further by also prohibiting possession of unserialized ghost guns and their parts. Some parts of the ordinance are in some way redundant with state law. Other parts are filling a gap before federal law takes effect. The third piece related to the possession of unfinished frames and receivers is different, but it's it's not some new innovation. These other cities have done it as well. And if the state law that's currently being contemplated in the Capitol passes, then it, we're basically just filling another gap. However, leaders express concern that under current city law, police are not able to seize or impound ghost guns. If we can get legislation through the state that prohibits the possession in the same way we're prohibiting the possession, then these items become contraband, don't they? And we can seize them. Is that right? Uh, Mayor, generally, I think that would be correct. According to a city memo, ghost guns accounted for 25 to 50 percent of firearms recovered at crime scenes in California during an 18-month period in 2020 and 2021. In Santa Clara County, the number of ghost guns recovered at crime scenes increased by nearly 72 percent between 2015 and 2021. Nearly all community members were on board with the ordinance Tuesday night as a way to reduce gun violence. However, a couple people questioned its effectiveness. It bothers me that the city council spends time on something like this that will actually not prevent any violence whatsoever. Now other California cities, including San Francisco and San Diego, have also passed laws banning ghost guns. Live in the newsroom, I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting Crown 4 News. All right, Taylor.